Hello and welcome to a new video. In this today's video I want to explain the four important settings for SuriCommerce. So if you know what these four settings are doing, every strategy is based on it. And if you just change a bit from one settings, the strategy could change dramatically. So this settings, which we are talking about today, is like this here on the right side. Price deviation to open the safety orders, max safety orders count, safety orders volume scale, and safety order step scale. I jumped directly into it because um, I want to keep this um, video as short as possible, but as most informative as possible. So once you click on uh, three commas, create a new DCA bot, you will get this window. Um, it's a bit yeah, made smaller the window, that's why it looks maybe different for you. but we will at first skip all of the settings here. I will explain the other settings in another video because we will only focus on this basic strategy settings today. If you scroll down, you will see them here. So it's just like this settings here, price deviation, as I said, max safety orders count, max active safety orders count, I will leave out. I will explain in another video. It's not important for the strategy itself. We focus also on safety orders volume scale and safety orders step scale. So this for settings yeah we will explain in a quick uh, guide so let's jump over to trading view so i have set up uh, a strategy here a standard strategy which uses let's check it out from this four settings <coughs> the um so let's start price deviation to open a safety trades count 1.3 then we have the max safety orders count it's a seven, so it's not in the same direction. Safety orders volume scale and safety order step scale. So these values we are using, so seven, 1.3, 1.1, 1.2. Okay, let's jump to it. So the first <clears throat> max safety order trades count, it's basically the easiest. So this just means um, I starting with a base order from 10, for example, here, and then I can buy seven safety orders after that. So it's only the amount of the safety orders. So this is basically, is it? Um, <clears throat> let's go to the others because they are a bit more complicated, but not that much. So um, price deviation to open a safety orders count. Uh, we set it up uh, 1.3. So this is really simple because um, once we have a base order, which is uh, basically here, yeah. as in the last video I explained, here's the profit zone and here's the zone once we hit the bottom, we open another safety order. So once we go here in the zero line until the bottom, you see it's yeah, roughly, yeah, it should be uh, 1.3. Uh, I cannot uh, click it directly, but uh, you can imagine it's 1.3. Okay, so this is like the 1.3 C deviation. And in addition to that, um, we have like the safety order step scale. And this means if I am adding step scale, we have here the step scale 1.2. And step scale is always combined with price deviation. So once we have a, at least one safety order, <coughs> uh, uh, at least two safety orders we using step scale so for the first safety order we have a base order here and then we hit the 1.3 we open another safety order right so therefore if i remove this you see here's the first safety order so here step scale is not important because this is the first one so i have made a table of this <coughs> so from the base order which is here zero yeah, we opened the first safety order, which is 1.3. So dropping down here was 1.3, as I explained. And then it's getting important. Then we have the step scale. This is the multiplier for the price deviation, which means uh, 1.3 multiplied by 1.2. Okay, let's check out. So from the zero line to here was 1.3. And then in addition to the next line, we have 2.85 or 86 yeah so and this you calculate by you have the first um, safety order as 1.3 then 1.3 plus um, 1.3 multiplied by 1.2 plus 1.3 because this is the first one so and then you go on with the next one uh, let me click on that uh, multiply it from here by the same Check. you have the uh, 2.86 multiplied by 1.2 plus 1.3 this is 4.74 yeah and so on and the next one we can also see which is here which is like around seven 
Yeah, 6.9. Yeah. So you have the the same way 4.732 multiplied by 1.2. Yeah, plus 1.3. So the 1.3 is always the base order which keeps staying there. But also always the next ones you multiply by um, 1.2. You can also do like 1.3 multiplied 1.2 multiplied 1.2 1.2 1.2 until the other safety orders. So that's it. That's it for the step scale. Yeah. Um, I think uh, this is really easy to understand. For the volume scale, we're doing almost the same. Yeah. We start with the base order of 10 USDT, and by each safety order, the first safety order is also 10 because they're not combined together. Yeah. You can uh, uh, have them separately here, as they are also in different values. So here's the same, but only multiplied by the value which is here, yeah, volume scale. So volume scale 1.1. Okay, this should be 1.2, I think. Sorry, there was a mistake. This is also 1.2. And then you also have from every safety order there that it, it increases um, compounded, well not compounded, but uh, accumulated. Um, the first one. We start here, 10 multiplied by 1.2, together multiplied 1.2, 1.2, and so on. Yeah, and uh, here you have uh, this what you used from your wallet. Yeah, multiplied, 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 and then you at the end at the fourth safety order you add uh, 63.68. So I have a table here. You can double check it, similar to three commas, <coughs> and then you see 10, 20, 32, 46. And 63. So that's it. Yeah. These are the most important settings, and if you change one, the strategy will completely change. But it is really important to know what they are doing. Um, please watch the video over and over again, and then uh, I hope it is understandable. If not, please ask me in Discord. I can give you more tips. And I hope you like the video. If so, give me a thumb up, and looking forward to see you in Discord. Bye bye.